Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down at 126, NASDAQ off 36, S&P's off 15, gold contract up $11.70, trading at 1,388 an ounce. Silver up four cents at twenty-one dollars and sixty-nine cents an ounce. Platinum flat at one thousand four seventy-nine an ounce. Copper up two pennies at three twenty-two a pound. Light sweet crude up forty-four cents, trading at ninety-five dollars and eighty-two cents a barrel. Bonds down thirteen ticks at one thirty-eight twenty-four. King dollar down one hundred and forty-five ticks at eighty point nine six. The euro up nineteen at one thirty-three, and the yen flat at ninety-six zero one. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Okay. Cash S&P gets to 1637. We close at 1614. You're coming into the 6th. So what we have here, folks, is this. Is that larger deal ABC structure on the way down. Shorter deal... I think we're still going to get a bounce here. So watch how this shakes out. What we did here, yesterday you did $689 million, You're coming back into it. We're in the B to C of an ABC structure on the way down. But the B to C is a choppy move. A to B is a straight line move. B to C is a choppy move. C to D is a straight line move. The real key is going to be, of course, so the 686 is coming into $800 million, Okay? So the real key is going to be, does it just break the baby right now? Or does it bounce again? I suspect we're going to get a bounce again. Uh, the bounce didn't hold at all today, and I don't expect the bounce to hold at all. That's, that's the bottom line. But I do expect that the S&P wants to uh, bounce just a bit higher. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. What you have with the Dow is this. There she is. Okay, so Dow Industrials uh, closed down a buck twenty-six, and uh, we did that seven hundred million versus the uh, eight hundred million. NASDAQ Composite. What do we do with the composite is this. Composite uh, 1.6 billion versus 1.8. Now, bottom line is that it's, it's going to be, if it breaks it with volume, it's a, it's a, it's a large ABC down. That, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, we'll see how this is going to come into that area. What did happen today is this, is that you had uh, the FTSE was down with volume. The DAX wasn't down with volume. We go over to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. This is what we have with the gold contract. Gold contract did 107,000 contracts today. Not enough. Not even close either, by the way. Up 11 bucks, but it's just not there. Um, you know, you talk about anemic volume, folks. It's pretty extraordinary. This was going into 199,000 contracts. We did 107. Bond market. Now, okay, so the correlations, no doubt, inside the Bond market inside the S&P. So what do bonds do out here today? Bonds got to a price point of 139.27. We closed at 138.23. Uh, you are back. Yeah, we just, no, we're outside, we're outside the range. We're outside the range again. So uh, let's see. Monday. Monday we came down outside the range. Tuesday, yesterday, rejected lower price, had lighter volume. We did uh, 595,000 contracts versus the 785,000, uh, one of the first days that we were down. Uh, so we're out of that range, so it's like, okay, bonds can go after 137.25 again. And in that context, if that's what we're going to have, I suspect that's where that little bounce will come in. Dollar index, okay? Uh, what you have with the dollar index is this. Dollar index right now rejected lower price yesterday, had... Lighter volume. Today, what we did is this: is that you had an extension of volume from yesterday, but still lighter than the big downdraft. We did 66,000 contracts. We're at 80.96, and the dollar bottom line is out of that range. Also, the dollar saying go to 80.55. Uh, so, when you put that together, the, the way I'm looking at it is this: you have the 
S and P coming down. Well, here let's go do the spy and uh, that's what we'll do. We'll do the spy and that, so you can see the volumes up. So what are we doing the spy? The, the spy we did 164,000, uh, 164 million shares. Now the the B point folks has 200 million. So it's 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 going to be uh, it's going to be. You break that. Listen, if we're under this tomorrow, meaning the one. 60.25, and if there's volume behind that move, it's a, it's, a monster, it's a monster ABC down, but that would be the break of the B point. You know, my, my take is that we're still going to bounce out of here, you know. Uh, small bounce this morning, and, I, and what I'm looking for specifically, folks, is somewhere around the um, 16.55 at level. It, that's just, uh, it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a close one, though, and, and this is why, uh, because of the fact that we're right into the B bar. That's what it comes down to. So you break the B by, you just go after it. Um, what, what you do have in this particular case, by the way, because the reason that you could, you could go after it in that, in that case, folks, is this, is that it's such a large A, a to B equals C to D. The A point on this is uh, 1687. The B point is 1598. So you're talking uh, 70 bucks, which would get you down to 16... 28. No, 1528. No, 70 bucks. 1570, rather. 1570. 1568. 1568 would be the number. So um, we'll see where that uh, whole baby shakes out. Uh, some of the Dow stocks out here. Dow, uh, IBM, big, big blue. Uh, let's go take a look at the big blue out here. Would you have what IBM is this? She was down at 278 uh, today. She's laying off uh, a bunch of people. Bottom line, uh, IBM's on its way back to this 187 area. Uh, financials, uh, AXP, let's go look at American Express. Now, the American Express, folks, has been one of the strongest ones on the way up. And this is what you did have, is, is that American Express has volume coming out of it today. Um, started yesterday, had volume yesterday of about 5.4 million, today 7.3. And you get a break on American Express of about, down about another point, then you'll see American Express come down to this uh, price point out here of about $65. Disney. Disney was down 81. You had uh, uh, Oxy off 30. We had uh, JP. There is Merck was off uh, 31. 3M was off a dollar 19. Let's go over to uh, Walmart. WMT. What we have with Walmart is this. Um, Walmart is going after. Yeah, see Walmart. Walmart wants to go a lot lower, but Walmart wants to bounce right now too. Let's go. We'll, we'll see with. So Walmart's going right into a B point. Also, folks, that B point on Walmart is 10 cents lower than where we are right now. And all it would need, uh, no, it would need a huge amount of uh, volume, actually. Walmart did 4.7 million today. It would need uh, 8.4 in order to basically uh, take, that, take that baby out. That's what it comes down to. Some of the high volumes, oh, let's go to the Russell 2000. We take a look, we'll use the IWM for the Russell 2000. What we have with the Russell 2000 is this. Yeah, see, she wants the bounce. Russell 2000 is strong right now, folks. <laughs> you have to, the, the dynamics at highs are just amazing. So, Russell 2000, down 97 cents, 52 million shares. That, that's not even close. She needs a lot more than that, folks. She's going into 87 million shares, and she's going into uh, 58 million shares. She's going to need more than that in order to basically get to lower price. Uh, we take a look at the XLF, the financials. Uh, what we have with the financials is this. Financials have the first leg down. That first, we, we're down 21 cents. You come off the high with volume. You're coming into the spike low of the sixth, and we're doing that with 63 million versus uh, 71 million. We go and we take a look at uh, good old Apple. Uh, we have what Apple is this. Apple's down another five bucks today, and what you have, Apple's making her way back to this 418. That's the first swing point that Apple wants to get into. You're at 432, but what is wide open, folks, is that 385 level. And, you know, bottom line, uh, on, on, a, on a basis of three or four months, Apple's in big trouble, folks. Big trouble. You know, when you break, uh, when, well, first off, the, three, the, the 385 price point, the reason that that can hold so well is that Apple was trading at that level from, uh, let's see, March of 11 uh, until uh, almost to January of 012. You know, there's a lot of support there, so it's going to take a lot of cause. 
Uh, we've been at this level here now for five months. That's building some cars, folks, and that cause is building for downtown. We have the Dow Industrials down 126, NASDAQ off 36, S&P's off 17. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Welcome back, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 126, NASDAQ off 36, S&P's off 17. And right now, folks, we're going to go over to our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs. And, folks, if you haven't signed up for Bud's workshop yet, uh, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be a dynamic workshop. The workshop that Bud had done on the 21st of March, folks, uh, was not only outstanding, but if you happen to be watching Tiger TV right now, uh, I actually have the calls up that he made. And uh, looking at these 14 calls, uh, there were 14 calls, folks, and uh, out of the 14 calls, one went oversold. And uh, other than that, uh, all the long positions, Guess what? They were up from 7% to 32%. Those two shot positions were down 20 and 25%. So uh, it's no doubt it's pretty intense. Uh, Bud Rolfs. Hey, Tommy O'Brien. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Oh, great day listening to TFNN as always. Well, listen, I, I have your, your March 21st webinar calls up here. And needless to say, uh, it was an amazing webinar, but the amount of calls you made, meaning individual stocks and indices, are pretty dramatic, too. But I have storm well, clouds over them right now. <laughs> We're covering them with clouds, uh, but only for now. And again, when you go to the webinar, folks, uh, just like March 21st, you're going to get specific calls. Tommy, we are going to tell them uh, the whole enchilada here. We're going to talk about where the markets are heading longer term, where they need to correct to now how long and low these corrections will go on, how we know that. It's not important just to pull out a black box and say this is what it's going to do. Yes. We're going to take them step by step and show them why we know where they're going to go okay. so they have confidence and so they can learn the, the methods themselves so they can make their own predictions. And then we're going to track their progress for them. And, again, we're going to come back to them and report. Folks, we have uh, six months of what we call Doppler radar reports uh, and we'll show you how at this webinar Thursday we're going to do those reports and how we're going to track it. But basically it's a storm tracking. These corrections that we're getting, we're going to track where they are, how much longer they have to go, are they going up right now, are they going down, exactly where they are, the whole nine yards, just like you get on a storm. And uh, we're going to do that each month from now through the end of the year to make sure you're not only safe during the storm but that you prosper. We're going to talk about interest rates and bonds, Tommy, okay. how channels really work and how they're going to show these channels are going to show us where we are and where we're going. And we're going to teach people how to do them and not only share the information, but teach them and specific trades they should consider as we talk about the, this list of trades from the 21st. Every week we, we uh, traded, folks, we traded uh, uh, basic materials, health care, technology. We did indexes, stocks. Yeah. markets themselves. We did ETFs, we did the whole nine yards, we gave you long plays, we gave you short plays, and every one of these individual ETFs or stocks or whatever, our performance beat the markets over that same quarterly basis on every single trade, yes. whether we were going Big long time. or short. Yeah, right. And uh, the right. one trade where we did make a monetary call, we said it was going to go from uh, – uh, uh, the center of its channel was going to say it was going to go south, it was going to go oversold, and in fact it did. And uh, at this new uh, webinar Thursday, Tommy, we're going to talk about all these trades that now become possible given where we're going to be with these storm clouds hanging over us in the market. Folks, you cannot get this anyplace else in the world. At that March 21st webinar, Tom, we, made call, we told people that the markets had broken out and guaranteed us long-term bull markets in 2012, and nobody, nobody on television is talking about that kind of stuff. You can't get this on television, folks. You've got to go to TFNN. Uh, I, I'm trying to be humble here, but I'm telling you, we have stuff. It's hard to hold this uh, golden goose under a uh, cage right now. Well, you know, we you know it's so cool. You need, and you're not going to get any place else in the world. Well, and, and you did it. That's the bottom line, you know. And folks, uh, yeah, there's many people that were at the were at the workshop. Um, the workshop was incredible, number one. Uh, but Bud's work, folks, by the way, what happens is this. 
So picture this. You have the webinar, and what you also get with the webinar, folks, though, is an executive summary. So uh, the webinar is tomorrow night. You sign up today, and, and if you didn't go to the first webinar, folks, it's only $279, and what you get there is you get the webinar, which is 90 minutes tomorrow night, and if you can't make it there tomorrow night, it, it's going to be on your page for a full 30 days. You can go over it and over it and over it again, okay? So it's really like a book that you can get to understand to, so you understand how he looks at the market. You get the executive summary, then you, you're going to get six follow-up reports, folks, for the next six months. Um, so if you didn't go to the first one, it's only $279. Uh, bottom line, uh, it's a great value. It would be a great value if he was just giving you longs of shots, not in the context of actually understanding his system and how it relates to the marketplace, folks. And, you know, uh, the, the cool thing, you know what's really cool, too, bud, is that there, there's no doubt... Uh, you know, the amount of time that you put into this is extraordinary. Um, it's, it's absolutely extraordinary. There's no doubt about it. My wife it. tells me that all the time. Who does? <laughs> My wife tells me that all the time. Oh, I know. I, oh, well, listen, I, I got to tell, tell you a funny story. I was, I was, I was down, I was down so St. Pete. Listen to this, man. I was down St. Pete uh, walking Harley, my dog, right? Yep. And... I'm walking, then I'm sitting down there, and these two women went by me, and one looked over and says, Tom O'Brien? And, uh, <laughs> and I says, yeah. And so she says to her girlfriend, she says, i got to get a picture of this. I'm going to send this to my husband. He spends more time with you than he does with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was sick. And so they took the picture, and, and, and he was in a high-rise, right? They had sent it to him. I says, oh, man, that's sick. And anyway, so I, I, I get the gist of it. What happens, folks, when you're in the market, you're in the market. So uh, we know how, but I know how that goes. There's no doubt about it. Uh, well, listen, man, uh, you know, we appreciate all the work. Uh, we really look forward to the workshop. And, you know, folks, if you're watching Tiger TV, you'll see that there, there is no doubt that we get the, the storm clouds over all the picks. Because the bottom line is that, you, guess what? You know, you want the picks. You want to understand how it goes. Come over to TFNN. And if you went to the first one, folks, uh, it's only $179. Okay, so it's $100 off. Um, you know, great value, great deal, great education. Bud, you have a great night. A safe night, and of course, you give all those uh, beautiful children and grandchildren you are and your wife a big hug for me, all right? I will, Tommy, and uh, same to you and your grandchildren. And uh, uh, what a family Tom has. What a great job he's done down there at TFNN. You're just class act, Tom. Thanks, man. Okay, bud. Take have, care. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. And so, folks, uh, just go right over to TFNN. You can see right on the front, it's trading tactics in a bull market. And I can tell you, uh, if you listen to this in your car, folks, always remember that you always can bring uh, the first part uh, of this up uh, so you can basically see that. Because I, I tell you, there is no doubt that those picks were absolutely incredible. In fact, uh, when we're talking about long and short, pretty, pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at 3M. So 3M, folks, that little baby, come off the highs. Buck 19, nothing nothing heavy there. Um, not, 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 not a lot of volume off that high either. So we're at uh, 109, 105 is game. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Dow Industrials finished down 126. NASDAQ off 36. S&P's off uh, 17. We're going to be right back. Up and down 17. We're going to be right back.